how does Europe, how do we think about AI in Europe? How, how does that, how do we square that circle? Yeah, I think to your so starting point around happy is, I think I'm a long-term optimist on, on energy and power. I do believe fusion and things like the small modular reactors will be a big part of the climate crisis solution and an important step to the sort of theory of abundance. And I do still believe in those, but I think they are 10 year plus timeframes still. Still, still 10 years. Yeah, I, I believe so. And so... They're not going to help this problem we talked about earlier, which I believe is one of the biggest problems facing Europe right now, which is the choking point on AI caused by computes and caused by power. And our, our power costs and our power availabilities are going to be a real issue if we want to compete on the AI stage. I think the, the sort of positive news on that is I do think the battery Evolution over the last couple of years is really positive, I and mean, that's really positive for Europe because we have renewable technologies and we have renewable um, assets, literally, um, to to solve this power problem. But I think we need to one solve some of the red tape issues that prevent the rollout of these technologies, and two, we need better storage because that's the ultimate limiting factor. There. So I actually think the the news around the sodium battery I found really very encouraging, and I think that could be a bit of a game changer for Europe on that power bottleneck. It doesn't solve the compute problem, but it, it may at least be helpful in in the, the power bottleneck. The other thing I saw was that massive uh, oil field in Poland that's being discovered, which uh, again, not great for the long-term solution, but could be pretty helpful short-term as well. So let's lean into AI Corner.